Hi folks, welcome once again to a Gas Labs Friday vlog and it's been quite a week. It's been very, very busy. i um, spoken to some absolutely lovely customers, um, but luckily for me tomorrow I'm not working. So that's really good news for me because I could really do with a bit of a lay in. Um, anyway, spoken to some lovely customers today and I will mention um, Rob who um, who called me up and gave me the opportunity to have a little play with uh, with the 705 bag and a mobile aerial and a mobile bracket from Nagoya um, made up a little patch lead and I've actually put a mobile aerial with a couple of tuned little um, uh, stubs uh, on on the bottom and uh, made like a little complete mobile setup it absolutely worked absolutely a treat now let me show you the pictures because it's brilliant i thought it was uh, it's been done before i'm sure right? this is not new um but i, I just uh, it was quite uh, exciting well this is nice so let me put you over to that so this is the um the bag and you, if you have a look see what i've done here i've just made a bnc patch lead with a little bit of um uh, it's Hyperflex um, on the Hyperflex 5 uh, Crystal uh, from MMP Cables. And that's actually just got a BNC connector on there. Just runs round and goes to a PL259, which is on a um, it's on an SO239 long joiner, the one with the two um, sort of uh, nuts. And um, so what that then does is it just fits sandwiches the antenna between um, either side of the mobile bracket um, and then that enables the whole of the aerial to be fixed to the bag now just a little note here this this bag actually has a uh, like a reinforced bit of plastic here which is just about not thick enough for for the uh, bracket to to go on it just barely fits um, however, you need to take the grub screws out of the bracket and the, the whole thing kind of really sort of sandwiches onto that little bracket. It's on there just interference fit. Now, what I would do is probably drill that with a sort of a 2.2 millimeter uh, hole and then just tap it uh, three times seven five or something like that um, just for a, for a second sort of grub screw for it to sink into that, that plastic um, uh, reinforcing uh, plate. And then that won't come off um, or if you really really wanted to if you were going to leave it on there you could probably glue it on or something like that but anyway or a bit of double-sided tape it wouldn't go anywhere to be honest it's it's on there pretty tight or you could put it on there and use a pair of water pump pliers um, and just squeeze it on there and it'll grip on there it wouldn't come off but those brackets are really cheap they I'll put links in in, um, in the description for you from Martin Lynch website and the antenna but let just have a look at the SWR on this because it uh, it, it turned out really really well um, it was actually 1.12 um, to 1 um, but just using these tiny little um, like three or four hundred mil as stubs and it worked all right it, okay it's not perfect it's uh it's better than nothing it's certainly better than trying to put a handheld antenna on the actual radio itself um and you know you could throw that down um on you know by sort of like you know on on the ground and actually use it sort of like that or you could put it up on sort of something high and uh, and use it that way why not it would uh, it would work fine so, um, but yeah, the, just a little point to note, actually, a lot of people are asking me about putting handheld antennas onto the 705. I personally, mm, I'm a bit concerned about that one. I would suggest that, um, that you take great care in doing that because a lot of handheld antennas are not very well tuned. You know, you might find an SWR of two, maybe even three on some of those antennas. And uh, whereas a handheld may be, um, designed to kind of accept that um, the 705 maybe not so just bear that in mind you might not get the best performance or worse still you might actually damage it so do please take care when you're putting antennas on on that uh, on that radio so um, QRM a lot of people um, experience QRM and one of the things that uh, came in the other day was uh, for um, but we had a lot of stuff coming uh, as uh, used and uh, we, we obviously maybe silent key or whatever but some bits and pieces came in and some of it um, you know we may or may not be able to sell 
Um, some of it is just really, really um, interesting um, to, to, to look at. And, and a little thing came through um, was this. This is, uh, this is an SEM uh, QRM uh, noise eliminator. And um, this, this company, uh, let me show you this a bit close up. Uh, this company was based in the um, Isle of Man, if I, if I recall, in about 1990. And um, it, it, I think it was going for quite a while. I, I really don't. I, I don't know. Um, I'm sure someone will will tell me in the in the comments. And uh, maybe they're still going, or maybe you know there's still something of them, you know, sort of going. Who knows? Um, but I remember seeing quite a lot of this this kit uh, in the shops um, back in the day. And um, you know it's very well done. Um, done. This is actually it looks like 18 gauge Zintec um, material. Um, or it's actually uh, folded mild steel and then actually uh, zinc uh, plated. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's really it's it's quite nicely made. It's very well made. You've got three uh, 2.2k uh, pots there, and you've got this uh, this changeover switch um, just here, uh, which is actually set up for just on off. Along the front, you've got a bit of gain. Um, it's got a gain circuit in it. And then you've got the phase uh, mix here. Now, the, the phasing is actually this, is offset by this, uh, this toroid um, and uh, inductor. And what you can do then is basically you've got two parts to this, this circuit here. And you can actually mix the, each of the phases together. And they then mix out of this uh, uh, receiver um, port and the idea is that if you look on this I don't you can just see that here oh sausages sorry bear with while I do that you can actually see here the 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 um, uh, the, the actual sine wave is actually in in phase and you can you can see there is it, it, you, you would hear that quite clearly but here it's actually nulling the noise out so basically that is uh, um, you know it's basically 180 degrees out of phase um, so you can sort of see that it, this will uh, help reduce some of the noise I hope I've got that the right way around um, you if you actually look up this uh, this 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 article here and uh, let me put you onto the iPad yeah if you look up this article this is uh, SEM QRM eliminator and it was an article by the looks of it done by um by g4hcl um and yeah it was it's quite a nice article just a, a quickie if someone knows what magazine this this came out of as well um i would absolutely love to know um so again in the comments down below if you if you would um let me know and if this uh yeah i just uh, i love all this it's fantastic um there were so many club bods around um, back in the day with with things like this and uh you know lots of little businesses all based on on ham radio and i think it's at the moment it's going quite the same way there's still lots of little businesses popping up and it's fantastic it's great it's great fun anyway i'm back to the um little device here let me put that on there um i say on the back here you've actually also got a 12 volt power supply which it actually needs um to kick the relays over to receive um to the receive position and um, on the back here you've also got a control port as well this will tolerate about 200 watts um, although i think it um, it may be a little wimpy for 200 watts but uh, they, they say that it can that it can deal with the uh, 200 watts um, and um, it looks like it's got some i don't know if that's lightning protection in there there's some very strange like folded back bits of wire in there. I don't know if you can I'm trying to get this in the in the camera for you. If I can do it. There you go. Let's try that. You can just just see underneath there. There's some folded back bits of wire. They look like they're like spark arresters or something like that. I don't know. There's three of them. They're all done the same way. That's interesting. Um well thought out. But anyway, yeah, if you um, if you bring this down to ground, it basically draws um, a couple of uh, transistors down and which are driving these two um, relays and uh, it goes into transmit mode. Um, very interesting little bits of kit. 
Um, but it's actually a, it's, just, it's a really nice little tool to have in your armory against noise. If this reduces one percent of your noise, if it reduces if it reduces one tiny bit of the QRM that you can't normally get rid of, then it makes things a little bit easier further down the chain. So it's a useful tool. Lots of people swear by them, but lots of people don't like them. Um, I've had mixed results with these. You do need on the auxiliary antenna, you will need an antenna that can hear lots of noise for it to null out against the main antenna. Um, but you know, but useful tool, worthwhile. Um, if you sort of see them um, dotted around, then then excellent. But it also brings me on to the next thing, which um, I will show you now, um, and that is if you're uh, in any way interested. Let me see if this will uh, open. There you go. Um, sorry, I'm on a Mac. I'm not used to Mac. It's not my first driving experience. Uh, where are we? There we go. So let me get this close down. Here, we've actually got a really neat kit. Now this is um, a QRM um, eliminator, which is uh, on on eBay, and you can actually build this one yourself. There is um, three ports the same way. It's got a little bit of gain again. Um, you've got the three pots, um, but this should be a switched on off um, device, I think. Um, there might be other ones as well. What I'll do is I'll find a good one with some, maybe with some SO239 sockets or something, and I'll put a link in the description as well. If you like, I'm toying with the idea of maybe building this, I've actually ordered one. Um, I might build this live and maybe you know so people might want to sort of maybe build it along um, at the same time um i think uh, it was chertsey radio club i think did a, a build build a thon well this isn't quite a build a thon it's probably half that but um the um but the idea is there but it's just a bit of fun if you if you fancy building it um at the same time then fine i'll put links in in below but that's not the plan i might build this live or i might build the tuna live i don't know don't know when i can do that um, I've ordered one of these kits. As soon as it lands, I'll give it a go. So anyway, there you go. Right, now, um, what else has happened this week? Well, Southgate um, News, um, they, 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 they published a little article um, suggesting that, um, that Ofcom were considering some changes in the conditions to the ham radio licence in and basically heaping us in with 5G and uh, all that sort of good stuff. Well, obviously it's in public consultation. These This may or may not happen. There may may or may not be some changes ahead. Um, really don't know. Um, my kind of uh, take on all of this is... Um, and I think it'll all I think it'll all settle down. However, my concerns are that we don't get an absolute ironclad, um, you know, um, de facto standard of um, of due diligence. If you, if you understand what I mean, where we, we're told exactly that this particular item will give us the measurements that they're asking for and the calculations that we may or may not do on a weekly or a yearly or a six month basis or as we change um, you know, equipment or, or whatever it might be, whether or not a certificate that comes with the radio is good enough to um, be part of this. I want you know I don't want in there to be any vagueness and I think that's very important that if you get chance if you if you are given the opportunity to um, actually partake in that consultation that you kind of make that very very clear we want to know exactly what it is you expect from us to comply with the um, the instruction that is uh, whatever is actually uh, given to us in that that clause in our license so um, because obviously what they're saying is that the the ultimately the um, punishment could actually be quite serious i mean they're saying an unlimited fine and uh, 51 weeks in 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 prison i think it is uh, in the uk um, and uh, six months in in scotland which i think is total horse manure um, because it really is um, when it comes down to sort of ham radio that just mentioning it is just uh, it's ludicrous um, you know because obviously you know ham radio we're not going to be class hopefully we're not going to be classed in that sort of thing I think they're aiming that at much bigger fish 
um, than than us. But nonetheless, I, I would like to see that to be clarified very, very quickly because that could put the fear of God up some people. Um, it's not going to worry me much, um, to be honest. I don't, I, I'm mainly QRP um, or I'm certainly under 50 watts the majority of the time. Um, so it's really it's not that much of a bother to me. I've got about four or five metres before my property meets any public access. So by the time you get to that, it's going to be well and truly under their two, two watts per metre squared anyway. So I, I don't know. It's not going to bother me that much. But what I want to know is how I'm meant to be recording that officially. That is absolute concrete um, for, for whoever. Because the last thing I want is for, you know, Joe blogs to accuse me of um, of causing some kind of uh, long term illness, and then to, for me to have to face you know sort of um, some serious questions from some serious people, and then the evidence that I've gathered in the past may or may not be you know uh, in accordance with whatever, um, or the goalposts mysteriously dot around. So I want it absolutely for rubber stamped. In fact, you know that sort of thing. Anyway, that's enough about that. I'm sure that it'll all work itself out. Um, so what have we covered? We've uh, had a quick look at the QRM um, thing. We've looked at the IC705 bag, which was really, really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. That's a bit of an update. I hope that was uh, that was ent entertaining. I don't think it was entertaining. Oh, it seemed to be Christmas as well. I've got an elf around here that uh, is uh, reminding me that it's Christmas. Um, but... Um, it will it will soon be november the 5th that's terrible um thanks for watching um i do hope this was uh, reasonably uh, entertaining or informative or in in some way um useful please subscribe see you next time stay safe thanks see you soon